When artists go to work, they can express themselves in many different ways. They can sing a song, choreograph a dance, or write a poem. Each is a unique type of expression, but they are all considered forms of art. In programming, there is a concept called polymorphism. Polymorphism is the potential for an action to be implemented in many different ways. Poly is many, and morphism is forms. Many forms. We can represent artists with an artist class and subclasses for each type of artist, musician, choreographer, and poet. All artists have something they produce, but each artist creates a different type of art. For instance, a musician writes song lyrics, a poet writes poems, and a choreographer writes instructions for dance moves. Each class has a create method, but all have different versions of the create method. What is the benefit of having different versions of the create method for each type of artist? We could store any or all of these classes in one single array of type artist. Polymorphism allows for the create method for each type of artist to be called as each are accessed. For example, if we initialize an artist array with the following objects, and call the create method on each of the artist objects in the array like so, we would see this group of artists make a song, a poem, and a dance based on their versions of the create method. Polymorphism is beneficial because we can accomplish one action many different ways depending on the specifics of the object performing the action.